This is part of a riparian sampling effort. We, uh, we set up nets and we catch birds and we ban them. And it's part of uh, what's called a MAPS program, which is monitoring avian productivity and survivorship. So we're trying to see how long birds live, you know, what, how, how long they live, what percentage of the birds live from year to year, uh, the numbers of species that are in here, the kinds of species and the numbers of individual birds. And we're trying to get an idea of uh, the productivity or how many young that each kind of bird produces. So the bird will fly into this and then they fall down in that part of the, we call that the bag in the net. So it's like, you know, it's, it's got a bag and so the bird lays down in this part of the bag and that's how they get trapped. And then when we show it, we basically just reach in here and take them out. And most of the time they're not tangled very badly. Sometimes there's tangles and you have to work with them a little bit, try to get them out. But this is called a mist net. And it's just very fine. People say, well, how does that catch birds? And a lot of, in, a lot of times you can, I could walk you into this net and you would run into it and never see it. But once you know it's here, you know to look for it. And, uh, and it captures birds the same way. So nobody here. So we'll go check net two. You know, it's like fishing. The birds are here. I can hear birds singing right here. It's just that no particular birds have flown through. These, these nets are 12 meters long and about two meters tall. And in the last 40 or 50 minutes, no bird has flown through here. Or if they did fly through here, they didn't stay in the net. Here we go, we got a bird. You know, he may only be captured by the leg. Make sure I hold him where he can't twist himself. There we go. All right, we'll just take him with us and we'll go check net five. Got one right here. I'm gonna hang this guy in the shade. Usually, if you just grab their ankles and, and pull them away from the net, they'll fall right, almost right out. He's got his head tangled just a little bit. There you go. Ah, this will be a good test for the, the new techs. This is one they're not used to seeing. Well, if you were to ask the birds, would they wanna be captured or not? They would say, no, we don't wanna be captured. So uh, we try to have as little impact on the birds as possible, but when we capture them and hold them for even one second, it takes one second away from what they're doing, then it has to have some minute effect on the birds. But we have captured this year two birds from 1998, and we've captured one bird from 1997. So we've been capturing these same birds over this long period of time, but yet they're able to live this amount of time. So I think we can say for most birds, we have very little effect on them. 38 grams. We've got a, a nondescript sparrow and it's a juvenile which makes them all look very, very similar. And when I first saw it, I said, well, maybe this is a Lincoln sparrow, but now that we're looking at it, you, there's certain things that we can look and confirm and by taking some of the bill measurements and the length of the wing and the length of the tail, it's definitely not a, a, a Lincoln sparrow, so it's probably a juvenile chipping sparrow. And there's a couple more that it can be confused with, so they're going to take a few more measurements here and make sure. Normally this time of year we catch 40 or 50 birds a day. When uh, we start getting lots of babies that start flooding through here, baby birds, especially when they become independent with their parents, they start flocking into these willow riparian areas along the streams and they'll come in here in waves. And we've had 20 birds in one net at one time. And it's just like it can pretty quickly get lots of birds. Today we've caught um, most of the common birds. This is the first one that I wouldn't have expected here in the riparian zone is that chipping sparrow that we had to look at for a little bit. And chipping sparrows are pretty easy to recognize, but the juveniles can be a little bit, uh, they can look like some other things. But we've caught, uh, the most common bird here is the yellow warbler. We haven't caught the warbling vireo today, which is the, most, the second most common bird that we catch in this area. We've caught, the, uh, we've caught the robins, we've caught the song sparrows, we had the black-headed grosbeaks, we've catched the catbirds, a lot of catbird babies today. It's the first time we've seen catbird babies. Yeah, we get, we get to do this and enjoy it, but it's a lot of fun for us when other people show up and get to, get to see what we get to do on a regular basis.